What is up you guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel or if it's your first time here, welcome. So today I have a random try on haul for you. There are a bunch of different brands in this haul, um, just stuff that I've kind of accumulated over the past couple months or so. So we have some things from Naked Wardrobe, White Fox Boutique, Express, Revolve. We've got a lot of shoes in here. There's just a little bit of everything sprinkled in. And all of it is really cute, if I do say so myself, because I picked it out myself, okay? <laughs> so anyway, as always, before we get started, everything that I talk about in this video will be linked in the description box down below, along with all of my personal links, discount codes, and measurements for reference. So with that being said, let's hop right into it. So the first thing I have on right now, it is this long sleeve maxi dress from the brand Naked Wardrobe, and I have this in a size small. Personally, I love a maxi dress, winter or summer. Obviously, this is more of like a fall winter maxi dress, um, but would be so cute with like a pair of booties and some sort of like jacket layered over it. Um, I just think it's so classic and classy. And the material is nice and thick and it is double lined, so I don't feel like you need to wear a bra underneath it. Um, you could probably wear a strapless one if you wanted to, but I feel like pretty secure in it. The only thing that I will say is it's tight all the way down to the bottom, which makes it a little bit difficult to like get a full stride in <laughs> when you're walking, which like you can still walk, it's just like not a full stride. So like part of me wants to see if I can like take this to a seamstress or something, or even my mom, when I go visit my mom in Colorado, she is basically a seamstress, she's so good at this stuff. I wanna see if she can like split the hem on the side, so it just gives you a little bit more movement down there. Like I don't want like a high slit or anything, but just like a slit, like maybe like around or below the knee, just so it's a little easier to get a full stride. <laughs> but other than that, I think this dress is so nice. Up next, I got another maxi dress from Naked Wardrobe, and I got this one in a size small. So this one is the same double lined material as the last dress. So again, don't need to wear a bra. Um, this one is a little bit more, you know, summery or I mean, you could still wear a jacket over it, but I love this color. It's kind of like a purpley brown color. And this one, no issues walking in this one because the bottom of this one, like, kind of flares out just a little bit, which I like that it's still like tight on your booty, so it still makes your booty look good. But this one, like you can get a full stride and walk absolutely fine. Honestly, I wish they would have made the um, long sleeve one the same as this one on the bottom. So they're both easy to walk in, but you know, you take what you can get. Up next, I got this strapless black bodysuit and these tan cargo parachute pants. And I got these in a size small. So this bodysuit I absolutely love. I just feel like you can never go wrong with like classic bodysuits. Black, white, and it like having strapless ones and ones with straps just depends on your mood, you know what I mean? Um, this one has a thong clasp bottom, which is perfect. It is okay for a long torso girl. I have a pretty long torso and it is long enough. It's not like uncomfortable. Um, it's made from the same fabric as the maxi dresses, so double lined. So don't feel like you need to wear a bra and it has one of those little like silicone linings at the top to make sure it stays up which i appreciate like tube tops that don't have the silicone lining it's difficult those are difficult and then the pants i think these are so fun i posted a tiktok wearing these pants and people went like buck wild there like that tiktok got so many views and people were like where'd you get the pants where'd you get the pants the pants have a zipper and um like clasp and button up here but they also have a draw cord if you need to like cinch them in more they also have a draw cord at the bottom here so you can wear them like wide leg or you can cinch them up to be kind of like a jogger so very versatile and honestly just like super trendy right now up next i got this crop tube top from express and i got this in a size extra small So I sized down in this to an extra small because I like read the reviews and a lot of times with tube tops, I just size down just for like safe measure to make sure it's gonna like stay in place because there's nothing worse 
than a tube top that is too loose and falls down on you. Um, so I am glad that I sized down. It totally works in an extra small. And it is double lined, so again, don't feel like you need to wear a bra. And it has that silicone lining at the top. And I actually liked it so much, I bought it in black and white. And I bought it in a dress too. So I'll go ahead and try the dress on for you too. Okay, so here is the dress. And I got this in a size extra small as well. I was actually a little bit nervous that getting extra small would make the dress too short, but it's not. A lot of times with like mini dresses, they can just be too short for me. And especially sizing down, I was like, we'll see, but it totally works. I'm glad I went with extra small. Um, it's made from the same material as the crop tops, so don't need to wear a bra, has the same silicone lining. And on the website, it actually said there's like built-in shapewear in here. I guess the like inner layer is pretty like tight and like when you lay the dress down it kind of does like have a shape like this so I guess it kind of does give you that shape I guess I am feeling pretty hourglass in it so you know built-in shapewear for the win but yeah I love this dress okay up next I got this little matching set from the brand called Classy Network and I got the top in a size extra small and the skirt in a size small So if you haven't heard of Classy Network, I don't know how you haven't. I get their ads on Instagram all the time. I see their ads all the time and they finally got me. I was finally like, you know what? Let's, let's give them a try. Um, so their thing is all about like built in um, cup pads or, or tops that like are compatible with cup pads and dresses or like skirts with uh, built in shorts underneath them and I was intrigued so I bought some things from them and I really actually like them so like I said I sized down in the top just to make sure it would be tight enough I feel like it is so cute um, it does come with removable cup pads I don't have them in personally but you have that option and then the skirt has these little built in like spandexy shorts underneath it um, so technically it's a skirt um, but Super stretchy, super comfy. I feel like this is so cute for a little like night out or like a beach vacation or something. You know, the like beige and whites, like super cute for like beachy vibes. So yeah, I'm a fan. Okay, up next I got this feather tube crop top from Revolve and I got this in a size small. I'm just not realizing that like half the stuff I've shown you is tube tops. I don't know what came over me, but like over the summer, I just was buying tube everything. Like everything I could get my hands on, I was like tube top, yup, tube top. So hopefully y'all also like tube tops because apparently that's half my wardrobe now. But I just thought this one was so fun with the feathers. It comes in different colors. I feel like the white would actually be really cute for like a bachelorette party or something. But I also feel like paired with like leather pants and like heels, it would just make for a cute little like going out or going to dinner outfit, something like that. And it does have built-in cups and it has that silicone lining at the top. And the material down here is kind of like bandage material. I will say though, I think I should have sized down because it doesn't fit like up here quite as snug as I would like it. I read the reviews on the Revolve website and like some people were like, oh my gosh, it runs so big. And some people were like, oh, it runs so small. So I was like, I guess I'm just gonna stick with my normal size because I don't know like what it is. But personally, I wish I would have sized down, but still very cute. Up next, I got a couple sweatsuits from White Fox Boutique. And I got the sweatshirt in a size small slash medium and the sweatpants in a size small. So this one is just plain gray, but it has a cute little like detail around the collar here. And it also has that same detail around the um, band at the bottom of the um, joggers. And it also has a little bit of branding on the front of the joggers as well. I've been eyeing White Fox sweat sets for a long time and I've actually never purchased from White Fox before. Um, their return policy is only for store credit. So I was always like, eh, like, do I wanna do that? But finally I was like, you know what? We're just gonna give it a try. And I definitely think the sweatsuit is super comfy, but I will say, um, I try to like look at other people's 
reviews to see like sizing wise what I should do and almost every single person was like do not size up in white fox sweatsuits they're already super oversized like you do not need to size up personally I almost always size up in sweatsuits like I'm usually small in almost everything I wear but I usually size up to at least like a medium I'm just I like things to be like oversized not like crazy I don't want to be like swimming in it but like I want it to be like oversized you know what I mean and I will say I really do think I should have sized up in the joggers to a size medium but as is their stuff is slightly oversized but like not as oversized as I'd like it like as you can see they stay up on my waist without even using the drawstring um, so yeah I honestly should have sized up to a medium but I'm not gonna return them all the way to Australia and reorder so I'm just like you know what I'll suck it up and stick with this because it's really cute regardless. I just would have preferred it to be a little bit more oversized. Okay, and then here is the next sweatsuit. I got the sweatshirt again in a size small slash medium and the joggers again in a size small. So this one, the fit is pretty much the same as the last one, but this is like more of your typical hoodie with the pocket and the hood. Um, and then it has the typical like jogger cuff down here. I think this one's so fun though with the like bubble letters on the back. So yeah, same thing goes. Wish I would have sized up to medium in the joggers, but it's all good, I'll keep it. I feel like the um, sweatshirt is okay because it's small slash medium. Honestly, it probably could have even done the medium slash large or whatever the next size up. I could have done it, but I am okay with this one. Like this one is as oversized as I want it to be, but the joggers are just not quite there. I feel like the medium would have been perfect, but it's okay, it's okay. Okay, so up next we have some shoes. So these are the Nike Air Force One Sculpt. I was looking around for just a like tan, kind of tan beigey shoe. Um, and I was thinking I wanted to do like a mid or a high top. So I was looking at like Dunks and Jordans and I just wasn't seeing anything that was speaking to me. And then I was on the Nike website and I saw these and they were on sale and I was like, yes. And I love Air Forces. So I figured that I would really like these and I do. Um, if you can't tell the little like swoosh is actually this like, it's almost like a light, like light pink color. Um, but yeah, I think these are so cute. I love them. Okay, okay, up next we have the New Balance 9060s. I've been seeing these everywhere. New Balances have resurfaced. Like people are just living for them. And you know what? Honestly, I am too. New Balance really truly is like a classic dad shoe. But I love a dad shoe. Like dad shoes are comfy. Like there's a reason why all the dads wear shoes like these because they're freaking comfortable, man. But I feel like the 9060, like they made it just a little more like fun and chunky and like different. Like it added some like cool touches to it. So I really like these. I will say sizing wise, if you're in between sizes, you might want to size up a half size in these. I have like one foot that's smaller than the other. So a lot of times my left foot, it's like perfect, perfect, love it. And my right foot, it'll feel like a little bit tight on it. And then if I size up, it's a little too big on my left foot and perfect on my right foot. So there's always gonna be like one foot that's not like perfectly happy. Um, but I will say if you're in between sizes, you might wanna consider sizing up in these. Up next, more shoes. So I finally caved. A lot of these things are me like caving. Like the New Balances, I was like, I don't need those. And then I caved. And the Hoka's, I was like, for me it wasn't like I don't need that. Well, I don't need them, let's be honest. None of this stuff I need. Um, but for me, I just like think Hoka's look like an orthopedic shoe. Like, so here I am with my New Balance dad shoes and my orthopedic shoes. Like, I just think Hoka's are not like very cute in my opinion. Like, I just don't think they're very cute. Especially the ones that are super colorful. For whatever reason, with like shoes specifically, I'm very particular. And for me, like these were the only ones I would consider. So these are the Hoka Bondi 8. And I was like, I am only gonna get these in the all white because the other ones, the Hoka, is always like this like bright loud color and there's like all these like different bright colors on the shoe and I just, I don't know why, I just don't vibe with it. Um, but I go on, if you follow me on Instagram, you know, I go on so many walks. I walk like every day. I love a hot girl walk and I just wear the crap out of my shoes, honestly. So I was like, I want another walking shoe. I was like, okay, let's give these a try. Every single person raves about them and rightfully so. They are so comfortable. They feel like you're walking on clouds, but similar to the New Balance, I will say if you are in between sizes, I would recommend sizing up in these. 
um, or if you have wide feet, they offer a wide version. Okay, last thing. It's another pair of shoes. These are the Nike Pegasus shoes. Um, so these and the Hoka's, they're like a running shoe, but I'm not a runner. I wear them to walk. I was needing a new pair of black um, walking shoes. It sounds so funny saying walking shoes instead of running shoes, but I was needing a new pair of black sneakers for my hot girl walks. And I didn't really like the black Hoka's and I've always been more of a Nike girl. Sometimes with Stray to Adidas, but like Nike's always just like been my go-to and so many people said that the Pegasus is just like a nice classic shoe and they are. They're so comfortable and they're a classic shoe, so you can't go wrong with these. And I feel like they're more affordable than like Hoka's or like the On Clouds, which I can't even get into the On Clouds, guys. I just, maybe I'm too particular, I don't know. Anyway, that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. That is it for today and I will catch you next time. Bye.